corner of the room was filled with this. Oh, you're filming out here. Why so quiet? Hey there. Is that how we start a video? Yeah. Okay. Hey there, fellas. People just keep bringing these and piling them on. You want to know how much of them we got? A shocking amount. At least now we know who does what, where. Anyway, so these are aluminum drink cans. We decided to put it out there. Let everybody know that instead of throwing them away, they can bring them to us. So that we can go ahead and use them, wow, that's loud, uh, to make something. So I brought them out and realized that we have accumulated a bunch. I still think that won't be enough, though, well, because... The idea is to make a certain interesting thing that's nice to look at. We've already tried pistons, brake rotors, a flywheel. And if we were able to make brake rotors... This is, of course, a steely, which looks okay, but... Why don't we grab all of that and try making an actual wheel out of aluminum cans? Cast a custom DIY wheel. We make some kind of mold. Use it to make us a blank. For us to then make a cast alloy wheel for a car. Let's do it. We recast aluminum drink cans into a wheel. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check it out, guys. We have extracted the billet. Look at this bucket. And we had a hard time removing it, actually. It sort of glued itself on. Now, because zinc apparently doesn't stick to steel, this end came out easy. Though we did have to hack the mold. But that's par for the course. We're used to that. And looking at this, you can see how we poured portions of the melted aluminum. You've got layers. But I don't expect this to be an issue, because the whole thing was really hot. The metal was very much molten and liquefied. Well, here's hoping all of the air has found its way out. Right, so we have the blank piece. Now let's continue making us a wheel like... Not like that one. Ours is gonna look way better. But let's carry on. Right, guys, check out what we got here. These cast pieces have been subject to some machining, and we've got us a lovely two-piece wheel now. Now, these aren't perfect, I mean, there are certain issues with how these were cast. 
Specifically, I can see some craters. Yeah, you can definitely see them. But at the end of the day, this isn't a foundry. We don't have a lot of proper equipment for casting. But I'd say this looks pretty good, considering the conditions it was made in. Very nice indeed. Carefully slip that in there. Yeah, it's nice and tight. Get in there. Terrific. Now... Now we're good. Check out the wheel. Deep dish, I mean... This is amazing. Yeah, that is a pretty deep dish, isn't it? And so now... After the machining, we need to... Drill some holes. In order to be able to... Properly attach the inner hub uh, to the outer rim. Okay, let's finish the job and see what comes out of it. Let's do this. And check out what we got here. We've put the wheel together and look at how nice it is. Pretty sweet, eh? It's pretty old school like in the olden days. And it is a truly deep dish. We've polished it. Yeah, so we were polishing and machining it and after a long time spent polishing, here's the result. We do not have proper tooling for casting. And we don't have additives that you'd use when melting aluminum. And so at the end of the day, we still got craters or bubbles or whatever it was inside the metal. Why they didn't escape is beyond me, but it's probably down to us not having the right additives. But then, I mean, you can imagine what's gonna come out of using drink cans. That being said, the wheel actually looks quite nice. So let's go find us a good tire, fit it to the wheel. We put the wheel onto a decent car and see what that looks like. Let's carry on. Check this out, guys. We fitted the tire, and this has got a totally different look to it now. We decided not to apply any bog or paint, leaving just the polished finish. We polished it to the best of our ability, and aluminum almost looks like chrome, actually. It's pretty neat. And right here we have this lovely thing. It's on split welded wheels. I really want to say they're no good. But it's on those, so let's remove one of the wheels, for example, a front, and fit the old style one we machined out of aluminum, and see what that does for the look of the car. And we can compare which is better. This sort of cast wheel, even if it is DIY, or a split welded deal, which is also DIY, come to think of it. Okay, install and have a look. Okay, so we're outside in the sun, and now we can do a proper visual comparison. 
between one that is hand-machined and one that is hand-welded. And honestly, the difference is pretty striking, because, well, just look at it. Take a look. You've got this really deep dish, it's nice and even. You'll notice we have a center cap on, but that's from a different wheel. Initially, we wanted to custom make that as well, but we were able to find one for another wheel, and this looks cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, they really do have an old-timey look to them. And over here... Yeah, we decided not to do any additional machining or drilling. We just left a flat surface. And the end result is pretty, well... And in my opinion, this is great. A couple of our friends agree, while a few others were like, you should drill it for the sake of style. But I think that's unnecessary. Let's drive around and ask people. You like it? No, seriously. Which one's better, this one or that one? This one's better. Yeah, I like this better as well. But then why even drive around? These wheels, we welded them, cut them, ground them. We should be all right. I don't see this one causing us any sort of trouble. If just to roll up to the locals and ask what they think. What's up? I know you're a wheel expert. Which one of these is better? Front is better. Front is better? Looks nicer, eh? Of course. Nice team. Well, gotta go. Which one's better? I guess... What difference does it make? Whichever suits you. Oh, come on. What if you were to compare the two? This one's snazzier? We're just trying to figure it out. Look at him scared. How many cans to make one wheel? A lot, I don't even know. Looks cool, eh? Amazing. Noticing anything about the design of the wheel? Can't see the brake caliper? Well, yeah, that's obvious. No valve stem. How do we inflate the tire? It's on the other side. On the right? It would have made it look worse. Yeah, we put the valve stem on the other side. But these bolts... Yeah, yeah, sure. Or how they're supposed to be. Yeah, of course. It's all factory. But the wheel is made out of drink cans. We were collecting them for a while, but then we went out to buy more. How many does this require? Quite a lot. I don't know, it took maybe about a week to melt them. But it looks good, right? It's got craters on it, but what can you do? We're not professionals when it comes to casting. Botch the first one, no worries. Say what? Botch the first one. No, no, I think we did fairly well. It took two people to lug the billet around. Yeah, sounds about right. How many beers did y'all go through? You can go out and buy them. One sack, two, three, ten, as many as you like. Oh, I thought you were collecting them. And we bought some. Okay, gotta go. Well, guys, we did it. This isn't a 107% masterpiece, but it looks pretty good. Pretty good indeed. At the end of the day, when you're making custom wheels by yourself, they obviously barely have any... I mean to say, there aren't any more of these out there. I mean, you can pick something you like and make yours similar, but you're not gonna make an exact copy. But we didn't look anywhere for inspiration, and just used a bunch of drink cans, to make us this wonderful piece right here. I mean, you could argue we flunked the casting part. Or call it a C-, minus. okay. But the car drives, the wheel is intact, it's all good. What matters is we did it, it looks awesome. It fits well. The offset... is exactly what everybody is looking for with a lot of them. Deep dish, it's got the shine. 
Good stuff. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. And for those who made it to the end, every Friday we give out free merch to those who are subscribed to us in Telegram. So pop in, follow, look out. And that's it for today's video. Catch you guys later.